Now let's share some things that you can do within an actual post. So we're going to use our general chat channel for this. And we're going to come down here as though we're going to post a message and see some of the different things that we can do. So you can just type, type here, any message. I have my cap locks on. I'm sorry, but that's okay. Andy, <laughs> um, we can do a little bit of formatting so we can make it bold. We can italicize it. Um, we can even create it as a bullet point. And so when you do a shift return in my case, because I have enter, um, enter set to actually post the message, um, not type here <laughs> and let's chat. Okay. So I just wanted to kind of show you that you have the ability to do some formatting. So if I highlight it, I can choose it to make it do bullet points with numbers. Um, I can actually indent it, which means that this particular, um, feature allows you to block quote. So if you don't know what that means, you can search it up, but it just kind of shifts everything over, groups it together, um, and allows you to highlight it a little bit. Now, if you know how to use coding, you can enter some code. You can do, um, a code block, same thing, right? There's, so there's a lot of features in here that you can utilize in just the message section. Um, you can also create a audio clip. So you know how in messenger we have the ability to send voice clips. This is the same thing. You can record a little audio clip and send it into the chat, into the channel. Um, you can also record a little video clip. So same thing again, you're going to just record a video and it sends into the channel. Um, you can tag somebody. So for instance, if I want to come here and say, um, Kimberly, if I click on the at, it puts the at sign in there and I'm going to tag Kimberly in this particular message. That way she gets a notification that somebody has tagged her or mentioned her in a comment. Okay. Um, you can use little emojis, right? We can use the emojis and see there are some specific to us emojis, which is super fun, right? Um, and then you can use the formatting all, well, it was already up there. So this toggles this top bar off and on, and then you could attach a, uh, picture from your computer. You could attach a file canvas is a note take. It's almost like a post-it note. So you could also attach that, um, and then hit enter and it will get posted. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and delete this so I can show you how to delete it as well. So you come here, click on the three buttons and delete the message and then it's gone. Okay. So there are different things that you can do once it's been posted, you can turn off the notification for replies. So if somebody replies to this and you want to be notified that somebody replied, you can toggle that on and off. You can mark it as unread so that it comes back later for you so that you can see it or save it. Um, you can remind yourself about this post in 20 minutes. You want to do that reminder. It'll send you a reminder to look at that particular post. This also goes along with the, um, save for later feature, right? You can copy the link that is in this message. Um, this particular post or message is actually pinned and because I pinned it, I can unpin it. Um, I can start a huddle in this thread. Now keep in mind that this huddle is one-on-one -on -one. the way that we are set up right now in this version of our Slack, it is for one-on-one -on -one huddles. Now that's just basically a, a Slack version of FaceTime. Okay. Or a video chat where you're chatting back and forth with one person. You can go back and edit this message and you can delete it. Um, there are some apps that are part of uh, Slack that you can also utilize within a channel and you can do a poll. You could translate the message. So if you need it in French or you need it in Spanish, you could actually translate this message so that you have a better understanding of what it means. Okay. 
So lots of fun things that you can do within a message. Um, there are also things called shortcuts. And so if you click on shortcuts, you have the ability to set reminders and I'm gonna kind of go through that in a totally different video, but you can set reminders, you can create documents, and this is a shortcut to some of the apps that we have. And so we're gonna have that in its own little video training. Um, but if you wanna search through this, there's so many options of different things that we can do. All right, hope you found that helpful.